In this short video, we'll have a look at roles in SAP HANA, what are roles, what types of role are available, and how you can create roles. Then, in a follow-up video, we'll create a role in the SAP HANA web-based development workbench. But first, let's go through some authorization basics in SAP HANA. Every user who wants to work with SAP HANA must have a database user with the privileges he needs to do his job. A user administrator grants privileges to users. Several privilege types exist, and they can all be granted one by one. System privileges, object privileges, package privileges, analytic privileges, and application privileges. You can also bundle privileges of all types into roles and grant them all together. We recommend using roles because they are more efficient. Now let's have a closer look at roles and how they're created. A role typically contains all the privileges required for a particular function or task. So for example, you might have a role for business end users reading reports using client tools, or for developers creating applications on SAP HANA XS, or for administrators monitoring and managing SAP HANA systems. Role administrators can create roles as catalog objects in runtime. The create role statement underlies this action. User administrators can then grant these catalog roles to users. The grant statement underlies this action. However, it's also possible to create roles in design time in the SAP HANA repository. Here, roles are simply another type of development object or artifact. Development objects are identifiable by their file extension, like HDB table for table definitions or HDB view for SQL view definitions. For roles, it's HDB role. Roles are created by dedicated role developers or by application developers for their applications. An important point to remember here, although developers work in the repository logged in with their personal database users, all objects they create are owned by the technical user SysRepo. Once the developer activates roles in the repository, they become available in runtime. Here, the user administrator can grant them to users. If you use the SAP HANA Studio or SAP HANA web-based development workbench to grant roles, you won't notice any difference, but the underlying mechanism for granting repository roles is not the grant statement, but the execution of special stored procedures. So which are better, catalog roles or repository roles? Let's do a quick comparison. Catalog roles cannot be transported between systems. Repository roles, on the other hand, can. No version management is possible for catalog roles, but repository roles benefit from automatic versioning provided by the repository. Because they are created and granted by users in runtime, catalog roles are always tied to these users. This could be a problem if someone leaves the organization or is on vacation. As we saw earlier, repository roles are created and granted by the technical user SysRepo, who never goes anywhere. As you can see, repository roles clearly offer more flexibility. That's why they're the generally recommended option. So far, we've had a look at the basic technical differences between the two kinds of role possible in the SAP HANA database, SQL-based catalog roles and roles created as design time objects in the repository. We've also had a look at some of the main advantages of repository roles over catalog roles. In part two of this video series, we'll create a simple role using the development workbench. In the meantime, you'll find important information about the behavior and handling of repository roles in the SAP HANA security and developer guides, available on SAP Help Portal at help.sap.com.